The one thing that kept me awake at night was not having enough PPE. There was a genuine fear for people's safety and well-being. Suddenly we had to have fresh PPE for every single patient that we saw. PPE was really a crucial, crucial tool for them to be able to feel safe and secure in the jobs that they were doing so they could focus on the patients that really needed them. The hospital has links with the university and a team from the engineering department came down to the emergency department. What we wanted to do was to try and help the NHS as much as possible and the first part of that was finding out what their real needs were. Just simple things like doors that they could wipe on their trolleys. What from our perspective was quite a simple problem because we had the tools to fix it which was can you put a back and a door on each of these cabinets. So we just quickly sketched up the doors, um, got them laser cut and uh, got them out of the door just before the labs shut down completely uh, at the start of the first lockdown. There was a concern that there wouldn't be enough uh, oxygen monitors. So for the devices that can measure blood oxygen saturation, pulse oximeters. Not only had we designed something that was used locally, but actually someone on the other side of the world had replicated our design and it, and it worked and they were going to be using it as well. We also looked at the ventilators. How we could individually control the airflow to two different patients connected to one ventilator. We were also asked to see if we could get some gowns designed and get them organised. So we reverse engineered an existing gown design. So what we ended up doing was contacting a group of local sewists and they produced a huge number. It was absolutely amazing. So it was a whole package of things that went on, but the main activity was the face shields. We sort of did the math, okay, how many patients does the RUH see a day? Okay, we're going to be need needing to make this many thousand. And at the same time, we were being contacted by care workers, we were being contacted by the council, by your pharmacists, um, all telling us that they needed access to PPE. The raw materials were not readily available because all our normal supply lines were cut. So we had to ring around sometimes to different potential suppliers. And some of them were fantastic because they, they donated some of the materials free of charge when they knew what we were doing. There were clearly financial implications. In the early days, we were incredibly fortunate to be approached by a private donor who offered to cover the first few weeks worth of materials. It allowed us to go out and, and essentially make some promises to suppliers that we would be buying a minimum amount so they could justify opening up their businesses again. And as a result, we were able to create that large number of, uh, of face shields and PPE. It was just incredible to see this sort of generosity of spirit towards helping each other and really trying to battle through this, this time. The fact that we had PPE made by people that knew what they were doing made such a difference to our lives. I have a tremendous amount of pride in the way that the whole of the team pulled together.